All right, let's go ahead and turn to weather. Here's a live look at our Lake Hartwell Skycam, which has had a lot of activity with the Bassmaster Classic in town this weekend. So let's go ahead and reel in Griffin Hardy. Griffin, <laughs> it looks like tomorrow will also be an excellent day to be outside. Yeah, absolutely, Rashad. We're reeling in a good forecast because uh, my job's pretty easy today. We had a lot of sunshine. It was a beautiful day. Uh, the temperatures were just about perfect, you know, upper 60s, low 70s. That's where we are right now in Greenville, sitting at 69 degrees. We just missed out on some even warmer temperatures further south because we had uh, the wedge still over our area with winds out of the northeast. So today we topped out at 71 in Greenville, 69 in Pickens, 70 in Gaffney and Spartanburg, places like that. But further south still, check this out, 80s not too far to the south in Albany, Georgia, uh, down towards Macon. They've got mid-70s down there. You can make out sort of where the wedge is setting up. Uh, we've got the, the wedge, which was over our area earlier today. It's now starting to lift up to the north now that the winds are turning back to the south. A lot of warm air to the west. Uh, we even have some severe weather happening right now in southern Iowa along that low pressure system. Uh, reports of tornadoes just to the southwest of Des Moines, Iowa. Another sign that we are now entering the spring months with these uh, reports of tornadoes coming in. Next 12 hours, the rest of the, uh, the rest of the forecast for tonight, upper 50s, uh, not too bad of a night, partly the mostly cloudy skies. Just a small 10% chance of some sprinkles, but I think the vast majority of us stay dry. Same story up in the mountains with upper to middle 50s for lows tonight, staying kind of mild with the overnight temperatures. It gets warmer tomorrow when that warm air comes in, upper 70s and low 80s. We'll talk about how long that lasts coming up.